A potential new vaccine might soon be able to completely remove AIDS from a body. Anthony here for DNews, and the new vaccine candidate created by researchers at Oregon Health and Science University has been successfully tested on monkeys with SIV, the primate version of HIV, which is the virus that causes AIDS. The team is hoping that with a little more development, they can begin testing a human version of the vaccine. Your immune system is made up of B cells and T cells. B cells make antibodies to fight a virus, and you've got a couple kinds of T cells. One kind attacks foreign or infected cells in your body and removes them. The other acts as a sort of commander of your immune system. They help the B cells create antibodies and help the other T cells know which cells to attack. HIV is a virus that actually gets inside of your T cells and replicates its own RNA in them. So when they get infected, your body doesn't have anything to call the shots and to fight infection. So it makes more T cells to try to fix things, which just get infected and cause the virus to spread faster. Now this new vaccine actually attacks your body with another virus, CMV, the cytomegalovirus. It's actually a class of viruses that causes uh, herpes, mono, chicken pox, but it's also just sitting around harmlessly inside of us. About 50 to 80% of people in the US have CMV just chilling inside, and once it's there, it's there for life. So here's this virus that we already have and our body is very adept at dealing with. The lab team combined the CMV and SIV viruses and injected it into monkeys, and basically it caused the monkey's immune system to better prepare for SIV by causing fighter T cells to always be ready to take on the virus, even without the commander T cells giving orders. About 50% of the monkeys that were treated were able to survive being infected with actual SIV afterwards. Not perfect, but definitely an amazing start. If the team can isolate why only half the monkeys were able to fight off the infection, they'll be able to get that number up and start human trials. You know, earlier this year, we were hearing about some other effective cures for HIV, but those require using a potentially dangerous amount of antiretroviral drugs in somebody immediately after they get infected with the virus. This could be the direction towards a safer preventative cure. You can check out our video about those previous cure attempts in the link in the description and subscribe here for more D News.